So a common question I get a lot is with this guy, which are virtuos, I'm in the, currently fixing the backlash of it. Because when people tell me I tightened the tube and the mount and it still rocks like this. You can see this is like how it comes out of the factory. And it's not good like this because like you're, if the clutch at the moment is fully tightened and still you get this horrible backlash. Now, basically what, what that is, is the the factory, this is behind this panel here. The factory deliberately made the motor so it can slide on that. They left the screw loose here. This is this big one, this one. And there's this spring here. And as you can see, it can slide on it. And this is bad, even for the gears, for the gear here. Like as you can see, it goes it goes out of whack when it's it's torqued up, and this this telescope is heavy, so heavy compared to others, it's not heavy, but for this mount it is. So today I'm going to show you how to tighten these motors, so you get zero backlash. Okay, so first thing you need to do is there are six um, uh, screws you need to remove. Voila, you have one, two, three. Four, five, six. Mine are removed already, but usually there are screws like this inserted here, like this. And this hold, hold this cover here. And then after that you have, uh, usually there's the pulley here. I'm gonna reinsert it just to show you how to remove it. Usually there is a screw behind as well. There is a screw you need to remove from here with a Phillips Phillips head screwdriver. Just remove it and then screw it out. Be careful it doesn't fall out because there's there's some there's a shim and the bearing behind. Mine stayed in there, but in there, if you get confused, I will show you how it goes. The shim. Okay, and when you remove it, keep this cover with, with something because there is the connector at the moment. You don't want to stretch this and remove it, but potentially damaging it. So uh, how it goes is like this. There is a washer, a bearing, and a washer. These go like this. The behind there is the clutch. Don't touch it. You don't need to, to touch the clutch. So. Next thing, okay, so next you will need uh, an Allen key bit. I have one on my screwdriver here, and you need to loosen this one. Okay, mine is loose. As you can see, I will show you with three turns. And you, you don't need to exaggerate, let's just get it a bit out, then it is not much. Next is, you want to take the motor, and as you can see, there is play at the moment. Now, let it rest like this, because there's the spring applying the force. That's it. That's only tiny, tiny pressure. Don't apply too much pressure here, because if you apply too much pressure, you can actually sneak the screwdriver. You don't need to remove this cover. If you apply too much pressure, what will happen? is uh, you will uh, break the gear or something like that. As you can see, now it's not it's not moving. Now we're gonna put this one back. So we're gonna lock the clutch and see if the backlash went away. You can actually, while you are here, it's a good idea to grease up the, the gears. I did mine already, they're a bit messy, but um, it's, it's greased up. Okay, so I'm gonna install the telescope. Tighten the screw again. 
so it will touch with the bottom screw and as you can see no back no backlash the issue is fixed as you can see I'm rocking it back and forth the clutch is tightened as you can see no backlash at all good to go like this now this axis is fixed is fixed now we'll do the other axis okay so here you have only it's simpler this one you have three screws three phillips phillips has screws you have this one this one and this one mine are removed and you have also a screw that secures this this uh, wheel here you remove it and same thing as above it has a washer and bearing you, you just you can just let them rest there it's not needed to remove them this is what's behind it's a similar concept as you can see mine is tightened already but usually this screw the screw here is uh, the same it rocks back and forth i will show you how to tighten it it's the same concept but i will show you anyway okay so as before install the wheel and tighten it and as you can see there is play and to be honest i don't expect it from skywasher that they did this i don't know why they did it maybe they expected it i think i think because it's uh it was like this when I first took it off, the old display. Um, it may be it loosened itself by by some reason, but maybe more likely is Skywasher didn't expect this to be used for any deep space, and they expected it to be used for planets. And for planets, it's fine with the, the backlash; it won't matter. But for astrophotography, you need to to deal with this backlash. So how you deal with this backlash is you place your hands like this and turn fully not not with force like let, let it rest at the counterclockwise position like turning that way like this like this it's rested you loosen the screw like we did before and while it's resting there tighten this one And don't tighten this extremely that you split the wood. Because remember, this is going into wood. So that's it. And we tighten this one. So it's, it touches the screw. It's okay that there is a bit of backlash. Because not all backlash is bad. It's okay that there is a bit of backlash because if the if the motor is too tight, you will break something. So it's good like this. The important thing is not going back and forth. So like this is good. This is accept acceptable play. And so like this, you fixed your backlash issues and you will get uh, much better tracking. I tried this already. The tracking is a lot better. So. So to put it back together, obviously you need uh, to put the screws and the wheel and everything like before. It's the reverse how I told you to remove it. It's not, nothing special, but now you have fixed your backlash and you are awesome. And you can make astrophotography with this cheap mount. This because this mount is cheap compared to others. And to be honest, it's very stable because it's a table top top Sony. You know, it's a, it's on a stable. It has three legs and sta stable mount, not like the high tripods that get affected by wind. Um, uh, and uh, what I love about this mount is it's easy to set up. In, in 10 minutes, I will be set up already. And on quick nights, I just want to go out and damage deep space for a while. It's, this is the go-to go -to mount for me, not the equatorial mount, but it has its limitations, of course. So if you like this video, give, it, give me a thumbs up, please, and share with your friends to help me reach more following. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.